In recent weeks, these photos have been going viral. People witnessed stacks of boxes being loaded onto trucks and hauled away, or in piles at local dumps. Critics claim that it was an attempt at voter suppression following comments from President Trump. These claims aren't unfounded. Trump has openly opposed emergency funding for the USPS due to his skepticism of mail-in voting, and evidence has shown that mail sorting machines have been removed as well. The bill's not going to happen because they don't even want to talk about it because we can't give them the kind of ridiculous things that they want. But is he so opposed to mail-in voting that he would order the removal of mailboxes in an attempt at voter suppression? While these images aren't photoshopped, there is some missing context. Amid growing public concern, the USPS rejected this allegation and stated, the removal of mailboxes is actually part of a decades-old protocol. When a mailbox is first installed, its location is based on the volume of mail generated by the individual community in the area. The Postal Service conducts annual density testing in order to track patterns of mail volume. So when specific locations begin receiving less mail over a period of several months, the agency decides to remove them due to maintenance costs. Over the past 10 years, the USPS has removed over 30,000 mailboxes across the country with an average of 3,500 every year. This year, 1,463 have been removed to date. And during the last election year, back in 2016, nearly the same number of boxes, 1,467, were removed as well. Some of these low-use boxes are instead relocated to areas with higher foot traffic. According to the USPS, it's only removing or relocating collection boxes in areas that have multiple in one spot. The USPS also collects mailboxes to repair. In response to this photo, the USPS stated that those particular boxes were being removed by a contractor that repairs or destroys old collection boxes. So although the pictures online made it seem like the removal was an act of voter suppression, these claims are inaccurate. However, as public concern regarding the claims of voter suppression grew, newly appointed postmaster Louis DeJoy decided to halt the removal of any more mailboxes until after the election in November in order to avoid even the appearance of any impact on election mail. And in a recent bill, the House approved for $25 billion in funding towards the USPS in order to cover lost revenue from the pandemic and reverse the operational changes causing services to slow down. However, it isn't expected to pass in the Senate. Critics worry that the recent changes, such as the removal of mail processing machines, is voter suppression and risk shaping the 2020 election outcome.